The sun is a star like many others in our galaxy, the Milky Way, but it is special to us because without its light, life on Earth would not exist. It is possible that stars similar to the sun are particularly suited to hosting habitable planets. Since the first exoplanet was discovered in 1995, the number of known planets has increased enormously, and today it is estimated that almost every star has at least one planet. There are worlds very different from our own, such as super-Earths or hot gas giants, and even planets that orbit binary stars or neutron stars. Among the stars on the main sequence, red dwarfs, M-type stars, are the most common, representing about 75% of the total in our galaxy, while the Sun, a G-type star, is less frequent. Red dwarfs, in addition to being more numerous, live much longer, even hundreds of billions of years, than more massive and luminous stars. Furthermore, planets orbiting red dwarfs are easier to discover with current techniques, and most of the potentially habitable planets discovered so far orbit these stars, as in the case of the famous TRAPPIST-1 system. However, there are many doubts about the actual habitability of these worlds. Red dwarfs are very active and can emit large amounts of harmful radiation, which could wipe out a planet's atmosphere, making it inhospitable. Furthermore, planets in close orbit tend to be tidally locked, always showing the same face to the star, which could negatively affect the climate and prevent the development of life. The lack of a magnetic field and the low light intensity could also make photosynthesis and other fundamental biological processes difficult. Despite this, the debate is still open. Some studies suggest that life around a red dwarf is not impossible. In the future, new observations and theoretical research will help us better understand how the type of star determines the habitability of a planet and whether our sun is really special or not.